Do you guys see this amazing plumber? Somebody's got to fix that leak. Hey, Slater Crusaders, I'm not Mike Slater. I'm producer Miles. Mike isn't here because he didn't want to show his face after this. Very good. 49ers yeah. beating the uh, uh -huh. Bears. <laughs> this is still the show where we talk about something important, something that will make you smart, and something that will make you feel good. Today, we are going to talk about the great week the NFL had, Domino's Pizza, yummy, and September 11th story, that will make you smile. We like to call this little thing, here's what's up. Where do we start here? Do we want to talk about the child abuser, the guy who punched his girlfriend, or the commissioner who allowed all of this to happen. Aren't sports supposed to be an escape from life's problems? Some people are calling this the worst week in the NFL history. Yeah, I'd say so, probably. I'd hope there's not ones that are worse than this. Here's the craziest part about the week. If we never saw the video of Ray Rice hitting his girlfriend, there's not a chance we'd still be talking about this or even before. Now we've seen the video, and bam, Ray Rice, he's out indefinitely. I'm glad we didn't have to see the video of Adrian Peterson doing this to his son. All for punishment, that seems a bit overboard. You know, the best leaders plan in advance and don't just react to public opinion. Well, at least Mr. Goodell isn't making 41 million a year. He is. And with all these great stories in the NFL, the scariest one and the least talked about one was the study that came out and said that 30% of current and former NFL players will get dementia or Alzheimer's. Let's just keep that in mind the next time, I don't know, you cheer for a bone crushing tackle. Usually this is the part where Mike will actually give you something that will make you smart, you can tell your friends about, but I didn't go to an Ivy League college. So keeping with the theme of NFL role models, Domino's Pizza announced their biggest sales day ever. And as expected, the biggest days are Super Bowl Sunday, big football games. However, there was one that ranked really high it just wasn't expected. The O.J. Simpson Bronco chase. How you doing? Uh, you just tell them at my house. I know they're all over the place with guns. And they're, stuff. they're not going to do let it. them know I'm not coming at her or any of them. Okay. Now, this is an awesome story. Every September 11th, Elizabeth Keith posted this picture on social media looking for the owner or at least someone in the photo. The picture was found in the rubble at Ground Zero. 13 years after that horrific day, Keith found the owner. Fred Mayhe had the picture displayed on his desk on the 77th floor of Tower 2 in the World Trade Center. Everyone, including Mayhe, are alive and well. Happy ending. If you lost all of your photos, what would be the one photo you'd want back the most? Let us know in the YouTube comments below. Thank you, Slater Crusaders. Now you know what's important. Hope you're a little smarter, and I hope that 9-11 story made you feel a little better. Don't worry, Mike will be back on Wednesday, and he will be doing his Meow Challenge. Thank you to the 49ers losing. You can check out our last video right here. It's about protecting our borders. You can download the Liberty Trade app right around here, and you can listen to our daily radio show right around here. Oh, PSA for the day, no days off. Don't skip that gym day. <laughs> Or you can work out in the gym and watch, and watch the watch game. Watch the game, work out, <laughs> listen to some hip-hop.